When you initially launch Pro Tools first, you will see this pop-up that says they will take you to the playback engine so you can set up your proper audio playback device. You click OK, and then you get this error, AAE error 6117 was encountered. You click OK. That takes you to this error. The selected audio device cannot be initialized. Please choose another audio device. You click OK, and that takes you right back to the same AAE error. Now, maybe you watched my video showing how to download and install ASIO for all, which on Windows, you will need an ASIO driver or an ASIO compatible audio interface. So maybe you downloaded ASIO for all. Maybe you went out and purchased an audio interface and installed the ASIO drivers and connected it, and that didn't work. Maybe you even tried holding down the N key, and that didn't work. And every time you launch this, you get this screen that says, Welcome to Pro Tools First. We're going to take you to the playback engine. Then you get Air 6117. Then you get the selected audio device cannot be initialized. Then you click OK, and once again, you get the error, and you're just stuck in this loop. And the only thing you can do is cancel out of it. Well, here is the solution if installing ASIO for all or using your ASIO compatible interface has not worked. Here is what you do. You want to come down to your toolbar here and over here to the tray, right click on your speaker icon and choose playback devices. Now what I have in here will probably be different than what you have in here. But what you want to do is come here to the playback tab and disable everything that is enabled. Okay, everything, absolutely everything. So just right click and choose disable and then come over here to the recording tab. Now, if you have a laptop, you're probably going to see things in here like microphone array. Make sure you disable those as well. Now I have everything disabled here already. Okay. So make sure you disable all of this stuff in here. Now, once again, make sure you have ASIO for all installed. If you do not have an interface, you don't need to install ASIO for all. If you already have an interface, you can install it if you want, and it does come in handy. But if you have an interface, make sure those drivers are installed. Now, once everything down here, was disabled, go ahead and launch Pro Tools first. And now whenever you launch Pro Tools first, we'll actually be able to go through all of these dialogues. We'll click OK. And now our playback engine actually comes up and you can see we can choose ASIO for all, or we can choose a stage light in my case. And you can also choose any audio interfaces that you have connected and you have the drivers installed. I don't have any connected right now, but if I had my 11 rack connected, I could choose that. I could choose my complete audio six and we could choose those interfaces instead of this driver here as well. OK, so we'll click OK. And since we're using ASIO for all, we get that little pop-up there. Little error there, that's not a problem with that Yukon. And there we go. So now we can actually, we'll just create a session here. And now you can actually start working and recording in Pro Tools first. Okay, awesome. And by the way, at least in my experience, after we have made that connection to our interface or ASIO for all, whatever the case may be, we can then come back down to our tray, right-click our sound icon, and come back to our playback tabs and now we can re-enable, uh, say, our computer speakers or whatever speakers you wanted. And we can also go back to the recording tab and enable, say, your microphone on your laptop or your tablet or whatever you happen to be using. Okay, so after you have initially launched Pro Tools first and got it set up and running properly, completely running, then you can come back and re-enable all those things just how you had them previously, okay? So just remember those steps, disable all those things in playback and recording. Make sure you have either ASIO for all or an ASIO compatible interface with the driver. Launch Pro Tools first, make sure everything's set up correctly. After that, close it down, re-enable those things that you want enabled, again, like your microphone or your laptop or your computer speakers. And then the next time you launch Pro Tools first, you should not have any problems.